Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about mutually exclusive and complement events. In our previous classes, we already discussed the basics that to understand for this class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in, in the description below. Coming to today's class. So we'll take an example and understand what's mutually exclusive events and uh, what's complement events means. Uh, mutually exclusive events take two events, E1 and E2. You take any two events, uh, E1 and E2. Occurring of both the events at same time is not possible. So you have to understand it properly. It's a bit confusing. Occurring of both the events at same time is not possible. Most of them will be confused with uh, mutual events and independent events, which we are going to discuss in our coming classes. So uh, make it clear here. Mutually exclusive event means occurring of both the events at the same time is not possible. That is what we call it as mutually exclusive events. Uh, we'll understand with an example. Example, if you roll a dice, if you roll a dice, uh, event uh, E1 is given as dice should show up even number. So what's the elements that present in the event in the event even even is equal to two four six if you take event e2 dice show up a odd number what's the elements that present in e2 is one three and five if you take if you roll a dice when we roll a dice occurring of both the events at the same time is not possible that is what mutually exclusive events is when we roll a dice it may occur even number it may occur odd number but both both is not possible that's why these two events e1 and e2 are mutually exclusive events so e1 is equal to 246 e2 is equal to 135 if you show it in that set format set e1 set consists of 2 4 6 elements e2 set consists of 1 3 5 elements these two sets are disjoint sets means they are not overlapping mutually exclusive event sets are disjoint sets means intersection of these two sets is null nothing that's why we call it as disjoint sets this point also important to understand our coming classes now coming to one more example we will understand which is not a mutually exclusive event events even is equal to dice show up even number that is what we call it as event even e2 is dice should show up value greater than 3 so what's the values that is 2 4 6 comes to even 4 5 6 comes to e2 when we roll a dice it if it show up 4 means it belongs to both event 1 and event 2 occurring of both the events at the same time is not possible for mutually exclusive events here it is possible that's why these two events are not mutually exclusive events so 2 4 6 in in the intersection part if you show it in the set format intersection part consists of 4 6 and e2 consists of 5 5 4 6 2 4 6 so these are not disjoint sets overlap of two sets now coming to the next one complement uh, complement events toss two coins let's take an example and understand what's complement events means uh, toss two coins uh, sample space consists of head 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 tail tail head tail tail event e is equal to head head if you take if you consider that event e is equal to head head e complement is uh, written like this e dash or e complement or e bar the elements that are not belonging to E and that belong to the remaining sample space, remaining elements in the sample space comes under E complement. So head head belong to our event, the elements that are belonging to the remaining elements in our sample space. So if you take it out head head, what's the remaining elements in our sample space? Head tail, tail head, tail tail. These comes under E complement. So E complement consists of head tail, tail head and tail tail. So one more important point you have to remember here. E or E complement. If you take E complement, E event E or E complement that equal to sample space. Either this or that means entire sample space will come into existence. You can take an element that belongs to E or you can take an element belongs to E complement means it is sample space. 
okay this is about complement complement and mutually exclusive events hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you